It is a cold and rainy day, so I thought we would make some sukiyaki. Usually eat this on a very cold day with either friends or family. It's super simple, super easy, and super yummy. I'm gonna cut some wedges into it. There we go. Next, we got mushrooms. There we go. Next, we got our Tokyo green onion. Stop right there. We're gonna finish the cooking at Vince's house. Are you ready? Okay, we're all packed up. Let's head over. Hey! We got Vince here, we got Cindy, we got Vinny, and we have Gatsby under the table. Vince is making rice in his rice washer. Finished cutting all the vegetables. These are mushrooms. Bam! Shingiku is like a Japanese green vegetable. It tastes kind of like a watercress. Yaki tofu, which is broiled tofu. You would think Ryan's really strong, right? No. By the way, he looks, but he's not that strong. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh, it's firm. I can feel it. Okay, let's see. Beautiful. This is shirataki. It's like a certain kind of like super stringy, chewy noodle. Ooh. So we're gonna make the sukiyaki sauce. Half a cup of aji meeting. Sweet cooking rice seasoning. This looks like half a cup. <laughs> That's all I have. So. Sure, why not? We got sake over here, one cup. So I guess we just put half of it in. That's good. Two tablespoons of sugar. Thank you, sir. Half a cup of soy sauce. Half a cup? Like that much. Maybe that much. That's a lot. That's is not it? half a cup. This is half a cup right here. Oh, that's all right. I don't even know where we started, so I don't even... <laughs> I guess you can always add more. You can't add less. So we just bring this to a boil, and then it'll be done. Looks like Coca-Cola. So over here, we got what we're going to be adding to our sukiyaki hot pot. Shingiku, carrots, napa cabbage, boiled tofu, Tokyo green onion, shiitake mushrooms, enoki mushroom, thinly sliced sukiyaki beef. We're going to make some sukiyaki. Oh, Let's do it. Sukiyaki. I love Have you guys sukiyaki. had it? Oh, you had it. Cindy's yeah, had yeah. it before. Did you even hold it? Yeah, normal size. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we're gonna add some neutral oil. We have canola oil here. Just put a little bit just to start it. Brown sugar. So, can you open that too? Um, the soy sauce and urine and sake. Oh, and we have noodles too. Oh, yeah, noodles. Then you take some brown sugar and you kind of sprinkle it over everything. We'll see. I don't think it's enough sugar. <laughs> <laughs> this is tsuyu, which is like Japanese, like a soup base. And okay, there we go. Yeah. All right, let me cover it. All right, cool. We got our rice here. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> go ahead. Chop. With a big chop. With a big chop. With a giant chop. It's really hot. <laughs> It's really good. It's good? Oh, it turned out good? Oh, that's really good. Yay. Oh, Hooray. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you cut these carrots? <laughs> yes, so I pretty. cut them. They're so Thank pretty. You. It's sweet, but like savory. It's really, really good. Yeah, it's like sweet, salty, savory. Yeah. <laughs> been raining for the entire week, which means we gotta do something indoors. Crafting with corgis. And today, we are gonna be making a bow tie for Gatsby valued at $100. What? And here's what you will need. A corgi and $100. That'll be $100? 
Now that you have your money in hand, let's get to making the bow tie. The first thing we do is we fold it in half, then we fold it in half again. We take the side that has the crease with the corners and fold them down. Make sure that you're creasing these very well. You're gonna look so good, Gatsby. Then we take this and we fold it down again, right where the line is. It should still look like this with all these creases on it. Fold in the sides. Are we crafting with corgis? We take both of these sides here, fold them down on the crease, and now we take all the corners and fold them up to the creased line here. And now get ready for it. So handsome, look at that. Oh, look at that corgi. You look so cool, Gatsby. So that's how you do crafting with corgis. Make sure to try it out with your dog. You don't really need a corgi. Post the picture on Instagram or Twitter and tag me in it. And I will feature your picture in the next vlog. And on top of that, I'll send one of the submissions a free calendar. Hashtag crafting with corgis. High five. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Gatsby, Nihongo wakarimasu Someone in the comments below translate what I just said. Ugh, I'm getting a little bit rusty in my Japanese. I don't remember. Do you remember? Okay, it's time for me to head off to the gym. I'm just gonna do a combination of different things today. See you guys there. It's still raining. Run off. Ah. <laughs> Sponges. I have to replace the sponges that are in my aquarium because my sponges are just really bad. So I'm gonna do a water change and at the same time replace the sponges with these new ones. <laughs> this is the sponge. My gosh. This one is not as bad. Seems like around there. We're doing a water change, sucking out the water from the aquarium and adding fresh new salt water that I made yesterday. For those of you wondering, this is my 65 gallon salt water aquarium. I've had it for a little bit over two years now. It still looks beautiful. It's just taking care of a salt water aquarium is just like a lot of work. As you guys know, we also vacuum the sand bed. There's a starfish. We just sucked out about 11 and a half gallons of water. The water goes all the way down and goes all the way into the bathroom. Here's the salt water that I made yesterday. The water is heated to the correct temperature and we just add the new water into the tank. Woo! Add the new sponge inside. It looks like it fits correctly. We did it! The aquarium is clean. Which food will Gatsby want to eat? Place your bets now. Cupcake. If you chose a cupcake, you win! It's all clean. We are all cleaning up now. Vinny's washing the dishes. This thing's amazing. It's yeah. great. I love this thing. <laughs> and it goes inside of this thing like... Like a tool. Like a tool shit. You can put this in your tool shit. <laughs> 
my cooking kit. <laughs> We're in the living room now. We're gonna play some Jackbox games. Should be pretty fun. You use your cell phone and we play. Uh, uh, you have to add your contribution. Oh, oh okay. Time's running out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys vote? Yeah. I love this part. This one. No! <laughs> this guy hates me. Let's check out the people who signed up. The winner will receive either the Cordian Fleek vinyl sticker pack, the calendar, or the folder pack. There were a few thousand people who signed up. I'm just randomly choosing a name. The name that sticks out to me is Matt Nakatsuka, Angie Vasquez. The final one is Genesis Martinez. Congratulations, you guys. I will email you separately. And thank you so much for everyone who participated in the giveaway. That's our vlog today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you still want to sign up for our newsletter, make sure to go to corgiumfleek.com. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night, Sukiyaki. How wonderful life is. Now you're in the world. <laughs>